Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of trash talking. We are gonna dig up the dirt. Let's get into it. I have been collecting my empties. Every time I finish a product, I've been collecting them. This is actually all skincare, so I'm gonna do this on another video. I have a lot in hair care too. I have too much to make it all in one video. And there were actually more. I remember like a couple of weeks ago, I just had like a, a dumb moment and I was just like, went through my bathroom and I was like, that's done, that's done, that's done. I had a huge clear out. I, like I completely forgot that I was supposed to be collecting my empties. They were like empties that were like done, done. You know, they were like fully empty bottles. So today for this video, when I went through my hair cares, I decided just to also include ones where there's like a tiny bit of product left. The point still stands, like they're basically empty. I've used them a lot so i never really make a products empties video i don't know if i've ever made this video actually which is crazy because i've been making videos a long time the point i really want to get across with this video is that even though i'm like an influencer i'm not just using a million different products all the time and i do try to be really conscious about my consumption i do try to limit my consumption and when i find a product that i like i really do use it right until the end and i think that's really important just to make sure that we're not contributing too much waste to the planet Hopefully Hopefully with this video you will see what I'm really really enjoying. Okay guys, so here are my hair care empties. Let's get into it. So the first one is going to be this Function of Beauty conditioner. So there is a tiny bit left in there and I will try my hardest to make use of that because I do just love this conditioner. I think you know by now like the deal with Function of Beauty is that you design your own products. You go on there, you answer a quiz and then based on your quiz results they formulate a product for you like based on what you want it to smell like, what you want it to look like and what you want it to do for your hair in terms of hair care and hair styling as well. So this was my first ever order from Function of Beauty. Absolutely loved it, used it right down to the ends almost. And I did repurchase already. So I switched up my scent and I switched up my color. This was the pink and it was floral. And it is floral, but it's giving more like a candy gummy floral, if that makes sense. With my next one, I did go for a fresher scent and it was eucalyptus and mint. So that one is very, very refreshing. And I probably will order again, even though I've had this and I've had another one. Really enjoyed using it. It did everything I needed it to and my hair felt great. You know, what more could you ask for? Next, I have the Rhyme and Reason Quench and Curl Conditioner for curly, coily and textured hair. So the thing that I love about Rhyme and Reason and why I'm so happy to use them is because they are so environmentally conscious. So this bottle is 100% recycled. I think they said they make it square like this so that it's easier to pack so that they don't have to use so much packaging as well. Products are 97% naturally derived it's vegan friendly and then on the back they have their list of ingredients and it has like their scientific name and then next to it it explains what it actually is so like i would not really have known that satyril alcohol is from plants things like betaine is sugar beet like i didn't know these things but they've actually done a good job in educating me a little bit but most importantly they've done an amazing job at conditioning my curls so i think this is actually the second bottle of their conditioner that i've been through i just really enjoy it it's thoroughly hydrating okay, so then another one from rhyme and reason they are are oh, low-key one of my fave brands. They're just so wholesome, they're so cute. So this is their leave-in conditioner. I remember saying in one of my videos at one point that this was luxury and that it was a high-end price tag or something. I don't know what I was talking about because it was like $8.99. And I know $8.99 is not like super affordable in terms of hair products, but it's also not way up on the high end. So I think it's kind of sitting somewhere in the middle. And I think for what you get with this, it's a really, really good price actually. So this is one of my all-time favorite leave-in conditioners. You could pretty much use this on its own as a styler so leave-in conditioner that's it no gel no nothing so so hydrating and it does have the power to keep your hair hydrated for the whole week until the next wash day my hair always looks so juicy and so shiny when i have this on my hair and this is probably when i get the most compliments i think i actually used this in my most recent wash day a couple of days ago and when i went out i was getting so many compliments on my hair and people were actually asking to touch my hair like i know that's like a bit of a faux pas but they were being really nice about it they asked they said can I touch your hair? And I was like, yeah, sure. And they were like, oh, it's so soft. And it was all down to this, baby. I love this leave-in conditioner. So there's like a tiny bit left in there. And trust me, I will be scooping that out. I'm not gonna waste a drop of this. I love this stuff. Okay, next. So I actually found this in my drawer and I was about to throw it away. And then I thought, nope, I'm making a product empties video because 
I don't know if you can tell by that noise. There's just like probably this much in the bottom. It's pretty much done. This is the Curl Company Hold and Body Foaming Mousse. I don't remember when I was using this so much, but obviously I was because I've pretty much finished it. I think what I was doing with this was just using it to refresh my hair on days when my hair just looks dry and the curls have been stretched out or something. I think it was fashion week actually. During fashion week, I was having such a nightmare with my hair. I think because it was so hectic and so crazy and there were shows and there was hotels and I had to like change hotels. And then we were like going to shows and I just did not have time to wash my hair. My hair looked a stay. And I remember I spent like an hour in a hotel room just fixing my hair with some mousse. I think that's where I used to this. And it worked really well. Like I think if you've seen the pictures from Fashion Week, I think my hair was looking all right, actually, to be fair. So that was the Curl Company and the Curl Company is really affordable. I do have a lot of mousses in my cabinet to get through. So I'm not sure how soon I'm going to repurchase this. I did like it. So if you're on the lookout for a mousse, check this one out. Next, I have a couple of items from Garnier Ultimate Blends. So this is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Conditioner. It's their hair food line and this is plumping. It's a watermelon scent and it's for fine hair. So with Garnier, I really love what they've been doing lately. I don't know if you've noticed, but they have really been like front runners in producing sustainable packaging and mixing up their formulas and stuff like that to make it more env environmentally friendly. Things like my shampoo bars or my products that have got like the very flat caps to reduce plastic have mostly been from Garnier first. And then I've seen other brands attempting to follow suit, kind of using their products because I know that they're trying and I appreciate it. So this one is for fine hair. I think a lot of people would look at me and they wouldn't necessarily think I have fine hair. Like there's this perception with curly and afro hair. People link it to the word coarse because there's also a lot of misconceptions about the, what the word coarse means as well. So people think coarse means rough and that's not what it means in hair care. And people think that afro and curly hair is going to be rough. But what coarse really means in hair care is just that the strands are thick. And what you find with curlier hair textures is that the strands are oftentimes very, very thin, which is a fine hair. Yeah, I just do think that there's this big misconception. A lot of people are using products for coarse hair because they have curly hair when they should really be looking at the strands of hair and they will realize that their strands are fine and that those coarse hair products are not really doing them any favors. Probably weighing their hair down. It's probably making it just look stringy because it's for hair that's a lot thicker in strand. So when I realized that about my hair, I started using products that were for finer hair and I realized that it was helping me out a lot more. I don't know if any of that made any sense. So this is for fine hair and it says it's for plumping. So I did find that when I used this, I felt like my hair was a little bit volumized and a little bit less weighed down. Maybe I was imagining things, but yeah, I did like using it. And obviously I loved it, the smell as well because it's watermelon, it was so fresh. Next is the Ultimate Blends Hair Food Mask. So this is their three-in-one mask and these are the ones, are these the ones that they say are really quick? Oh my gosh, I thought this was like a quick one. I don't think I've been leaving this on long enough because I thought that this was like their three-minute mask, but it's not. Oh, it is. And you can also use this as a leave-in. All right. Uh, so this is their three-in-one hair mask. Again, it's watermelon and it's for fine hair and the goal is plumping. So they say you can use this in three different ways. So as a conditioner, as a mask, where you leave it on for just three minutes, or as a leave-in. So I actually didn't know that you could use it as a leave-in, so I don't think I've ever done that with this. Maybe I will give it a go if I repurchase. Actually, I have a bunch of the different hair foods. I have like the banana one and stuff, so maybe I'll try it with that one. You know, I think the reason why I finished this is because it's a three minute mask. So, you know, I don't always have hours to spend on my curly hair routines. And let me know actually, do you wanna see a curly hair routine from me that's like my snappy one. Do you want to see my express curly hair routine? Because I usually show you the ones where I'm like doing everything properly. You know, I don't always do it like that. Sometimes there is an express version. Maybe you want to see the express version. Let me know in the comment section down below. So I don't really know if this one counts because it's a little travel size. So I feel like obviously I used it all. But yeah, I felt like I just wanted to include it because this one I really did just use right till the end. Say if you're a duty free and you go to a boots or something, it does usually seem to always be like Maui moisture that's really holding it down for us. Like I don't see a lot of, of my other favorite brands are at duty free. I know I see like head and shoulders and stuff, but I don't really use head and shoulders. Kept my hair hydrated when I was on my holidays. 
loved that for me. Okay, so this one actually isn't empty, but I know that I did recently just throw away an empty bottle of this. So I feel like it deserves a spot in the video because I just really like it. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin Miracle Hair Elixir. They call it a miracle hair elixir. And I know the secret. I know that it's mainly just silicones, but I still just really like it anyway. Like, I just feel like this is so glossy. Oh, this makes my hair just feel so scrumptious. I know that I can put this on my hands, rub it together, run it through my hair. My hair is instantly gonna feel soft. It's gonna look shiny. It's gonna feel stronger. Sometimes you just need that quick fix. Okay, next is a hair gel. So this is the TGIN Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel. So I actually worked with them on a collaboration for this line. I was so happy to work with them on it. This is just one of my favorite gels. Like it does not flay. It does not make your hair hard and crunchy. It's not too heavy. It smells really nice as well. Okay, so next is the Revolution Deeply Condition My Curls Conditioner. So I have had mixed reviews about this line. I really enjoyed this line. I felt like it was a great budget line for curly girls. It was the first time that I'd seen a line as extensive as this because they had like the lightly hydration and then the deep hydration. It was kind of like that. And they had a huge amount of products in both of those ranges and it was all for curly hair. And they were all on a great price points. I think each product was around about five or six pounds. It's all vegan. It looked to me like it had some great ingredients in here. For me, I just felt like it worked. And then I heard a lot of other people saying that it was awful. I heard people saying their leave-in conditioner made their hair really stringy and stuff like that. And I guess not every product is for everyone, but yeah, I don't know. I personally did like this. And I think that if I was in a bind and if I was in a rush, I would reach for this. What? I have another Rhyme and Reason conditioner. I was getting so confused. I was like, I'm sure I've already spoken about the Rhyme and reason conditioner, but that's because I have two. So I have two rhyme and reason conditioner empties. So I think that just pretty much goes to show how much I like this conditioner. <laughs> this is the Curl Company Curl Cream. And I just picked this up because I was looking for the empty bottle of the Curl Lotion, but I think I threw it away. When you see this, just think of the Curl Lotion, okay? The Curl Lotion is the one that I finished. With their Curl Lotion, I've probably finished like three or four bottles of that because that one is just so, I think, versatile and it's affordable. Sometimes I literally just wash my hair, throw a leave-in on it and break it through my fingers and go. I literally wash and go. To me, I feel like my hair just needs that sometimes. Like it's just a really healthy way to treat my curls. I haven't manipulated them in any way. I've really just let them do their own thing. When I do something like that, I really love to use curl lotion because it's so lightweight and it really just allows my hair to do its own thing. But also a lot of the time I use it for refreshing my hair. And also bear in mind, I don't do too many of that kind of like curl refresh. That's really kind of like just in emergency situations when it's like, I just need my hair to look fresh and it's not. I I think it just works really well on hair that's just been sprayed down you put it on it's not gonna like flake it's not gonna clump up like it's not thick and it's not gonna get stuck on pieces of hair like you're not gonna go outside and people will be like oh you've got a bit of product here that isn't mixed in like you don't need to worry about that with cold lotion it's just gonna blend in it's just gonna work it's gonna be stress-free and you're gonna get the results that you want yeah i just really like that cold lotion so i don't have it because i was silly and i threw the bottle away but yeah it looks like this just says cold lotion instead of cold cream next is the aveda botanical repair strengthening leave in treatment. So with this, this is something that I pretty much just mix in with my leave-in conditioners and I'm not sure I would repurchase it either because I have leave-in conditioners that are kind of more full package that are like strengthening and they also help me style my hair. Whereas with this one, I feel like it's just a bit too lightweight. Like it doesn't really help in the styling portion of my routine. It really is just like this strengthening treatment and it just kind of feels like an extra step almost. Next is the Botanical Repair Strengthening Conditioner. So so this is one of the reasons why I think that that leave-in treatment is maybe not the most necessary for me because I do use the botanical repair strengthening conditioner and the hair mask as well. So I do actually have empties of the tubs of the hair mask, but I just threw them away because I'm silly like that sometimes. So yeah, this is the strengthening conditioner and obviously I do really like it because I've finished it and I know that I've finished the hair mask as well. And with this, this is something that I would use probably once a month or once every six weeks or something like that. Like with protein, products for example like if you use too many you can actually get protein overload which then causes your hair to become brittle and potentially break off so I never want to risk anything like that so it has taken me a while to get through it but I did get through it yeah I probably would like to repurchase okay next 
is the Hask Curl Care Moisturizing Shampoo. So yeah, with this again, I'm not entirely sure how and when this became one of my go-tos. I honestly think sometimes I just try something and it just stays in my shower. Through laziness, it becomes my go-to because I just leave it there. That's not to say anything bad about Hask. Like it's been good. It's done the job. I just haven't really noticed anything super special about this, but I guess because it's a shampoo, honestly, I don't really notice that much about my shampoos. I think sometimes if things are just easy to use and they're working, then that's why they stay a go-to. Like if I was ever to have problems with a shampoo, like if I felt like it was too drying or it just wasn't working, then obviously I wouldn't keep it there and I wouldn't keep using it. So this, is, this has been good, I guess. Okay, next is the Vita Coco Coconut Hair Mask. So as hair masks go, this was actually really lovely to use. For starters, it smells amazing. Like as soon as you open it up, that coconut scent is, oh, Oh my god, it transports me to an island. I'm on a holiday. I got a pina colada. Like, I am so happy when I smell that scent. And I remember when I first started using these, they had a really nice message. Like, so for like starters, it says that they source their coconuts from small family farms. And you can go onto their website and you can see the families that they're working with and everything. So I just think that's a really lovely touch. And I do always think about that kind of thing with my products. And that's often the reason why brands do become my favorite brands or my favorite products, is if I can see that they're really thinking about their impact. So I did really like it. My hair absolutely loved this. This is free from silicones, free from colorants. It's vegan. Pot itself is 75% recycled. Like I feel like I would feel good to repurchase this again. So I think you can get this in Holland and Barrett. It's also in Boots. Just my look as well. Okay, next, I think you can see because it's like all deformed right now from where I've been squeezing it. This is the Innocence Quiet Calm Curl Control. So this was what I was using pretty much every day to refresh my curls and protect my curls on my ski trip. So I went skiing, we were up in the mountains in Zermatt in Switzerland. It was super stunning, so, so lovely, but everything was like so go, go, go. Like I did not have barely a second of downtime the entire trip and I desperately wanted to wash my hair and I just did not have time. So every day I was just, you know, raking through my hair with water, you know, loosely detangling it and then running this through it and that was it. It did a really good job. Like my hair actually looked good on that trip. And I remember one of the days I took such a bad fall on the snow like I literally like fell off a cliff I was going down and down and down I was collecting snow like I was like a snowball by the time I came out the end and I remember I stood up and my hair was like a snowman's hair like packed with snow like I was basically Jack Frost's wife at that point and I don't know I just feel like this did a really good job at keeping my hair hydrated despite the cold and the abuse that I was putting my hair through honestly I think it was to do with the shea butter and the coconut in this so this was kind of a thick protectant on my hair throughout the whole trip I will repurchase and continue to use this I really liked it this was my leave-in conditioner that I formulated with Function of Beauty is as you you can see this one is not completely empty but I did just want to include it in this video anyway because I don't know how long it's going to be until I make another product empties video. So this quickly became one of my go-to leave-in conditioners. So this one again has the floral scent but you can't change the color of the leave-in conditioner for some reason and I think with this I said that my goals were like definition and hydration so you can think of this as like a hydrating and curl defining leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna go in the empties bundle oh my gosh i've been sat on my leg and it's dead okay guys so there you have it those are my product empties let me know if you want me to make more videos like this specifically about hair care because i do already have another video coming about skincare and makeup you know, maybe in the next few months or something i could make this kind of video again if it's something that you like so definitely make sure to let me know also thumbs up this video if you liked it it really helps to let the algorithm know and also subscribe turn on your notifications and share this video if you think that anyone else that you know would enjoy this video as well thank you so much for watching this video right through to the end it really helps me out it really makes such a huge difference and you just don't even understand how grateful i am so thank you if you want to deepen our bond even more then you can follow me on Instagram where I'm at all the time. But for now, I just want to say have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.